Nathan Jones. Very memorable match. Nathan Jones had Australian talk show host Rove McManus in his corner. Jarrett defeated Nathan Jones with the stroke in that match. However, the next time around in Sydney, Australia, Jones defeated Jeff Jarrett to become the WWA World Heavyweight Championship. And the world champion was his. That was the belt that he held. Now, the question remains. At this stage in the game, the NWA World Title is on the line with Nathan Jones and Jeff Jarrett, their third meeting. Now, one win each. This go in front of Well, it is one win each. I'll tell you what, Jeff Jarrett definitely has experience back there, but this is not the same Nathan Jones from a year ago. Nathan Jones has a year of experience under his belt, and mind you, this guy is a former world heavyweight champion. Nathan Jones is one of the strongest men I've ever been in the ring with. He gave me a black eye in the last four that happened like three weeks. And there we go. There's the experience of Jeff. That's the experience factor, and that's what Jeff Jarrett is going to rely on through this contest. Jarrett now looked into the ropes. He cannot compete on a on a strength level with Nathan Jones. Yeah. You don't want to go Nathan Jones head to head. You want to chop the guy down, you want to break him down, you want to start the legs and get him on the mat. Nathan Jones, of course, is the man that Scott Steiner defeated to become the other oh, 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 champion. Choke slam early! Going early for his finishing maneuver, the choke slam. Oh, and instead, he's met by a group of experienced Jarrett. Experience on his side, no doubt about it. Yeah, the question hard. remains, can the experience factor outweigh the size factor that Nathan Jones possesses? Yeah, well, Jeff Jarrett was born a second generation competitor. He's been in wrestling his entire life. Nathan Jones, on the other hand, raising a filling out back by a wild koalas. Oh, maybe it was kangaroos. Jarrett now. Oh, 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 oh. Jumps to be on the other end of the floor and takes both men out to the floor. And that's the kind of momentum. When you see the Rage and Bull coming at you, when you see Nathan Jones, a seven-footer, 300-plus pounds coming your way, there's only two things that can happen. You get move or you get taken down. And look at that, Nathan Jones dumped to Jarrett open early. Well, Nathan Jones with... World Championship. Oh, he's going for a chair. All right. Let's take a look. Let's more aggressive than Nathan Jones. Look at the look on Nathan Jones' face. I don't think he cares about winning the match. Jones wow. coming out with a new aggression that I have never seen before. And obviously, you're right, Disco. This is a different Nathan Jones than we saw one year ago. Yeah, he's bigger. He's more experienced. He's more vicious. To the top rope. Oh, oh. 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 And Jarrett, the KG ring veteran. Ooh. The man who defeated Ron McHugh Killings to become the NWA World Heavyweight Champion. And of course, you can see Jarrett defend that belt. If he makes it through this, you'll see him on NWA TNA Total Nonstop Match in the U.S. However, Nathan Jones could very much well show up with that belt as well in this case. Wow. I'll tell you what, you know, Jeff Jeff beat Ron the Truth Killings, but Ron the Truth Killings is not 6'10", 300 pounds, and a former world strongest man. Jumping on the back. Well, smart move by Jeff. I don't know if that's going to break the man down. Well, Jarrett bleeding from the eye. You see that? A lot of blood streaming from the face of Jarrett. Putting his sleeper hook. A smart maneuver by Jarrett. Take the man off his feet. You've got to wear him down. That's the only way you're going to take down a giant. Cut the man's lungs off. Cut, cut the air off. Break the legs down. You can't. You gotta take away something from this guy. Either take away his win or take away, you know, aspects of his strength. But again, there we go. Nice look. Down the front by Jeff. Right now, getting behind me to Jones. Well, Jared has been here before. This is his sixth time. Jared now takes a retreat to the floor, smart maneuver, and goes to get past the chair. Smart maneuver by Jared at this point. He's getting, I think, maybe a little nervous about this situation. Yeah, well, he's got to do something. Jerry to the King Waller said it best at the inception. Never. This is a feeling like you see the sight of your own blood streaming down on your own face. And Jared, obviously, at a psychological disadvantage because of that. Jarrett right down. Now, can Jones capitalize on the situation? Go for the cover. No, he did not get him. Boy, Jared's been in a war out there. When he goes through 15 hours here, I don't think he expect to be beat up like this. I'll tell you what, 
Jeff Jarrett with a definite experience advantage, but maybe suffering a bit of jet lag. Literally, oh, 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 slam down right on his back. He's being cut as well as a drag call. Cover, one, two. And the smart veteran, oh. Jarrett, reaches up and grabs the ropes to break. That should have been a three count. And crowd kind of now getting behind Jarrett a little bit. It's yep. a very mixed reaction here between these two. And Nathan calling for the finish. He's calling for the end. He's calling for that choke slam. That could spell the end for Jarrett. That could spell the end of the end of the world. Oh, no. oh yeah, well, he's been kind of kicked out of the referee. Look at it. Nathan Jones is sick. Nathan Jones. Jeff Jarrett. Well, he came out with obviously a, a bloody face, but still with the NWA World Heavyweight title. Yes, yeah. 